perimeter of a triangle having sides A, B and C is? We have got four options and the answer is option C, A plus B plus C. If the sides of a triangle are A, B and C, also the semi-perimeter of the triangle is S, then its area can be calculated by Heron's formula. Heron's formula is, its option C, uh, root over S, S minus A, S minus B, S minus C. Area of an equilateral triangle is, we have got four options, and the right answer is option B, it's root 3 by 4 into side square. Altitude of an equilateral triangle is given by the formula. We have got four options and the right answer is option D. Root 3 by 2 into sight. When the measurement of altitude and base is given, then area of the triangle is. We have got four options and the right answer is option B. It's 1 by 2 into base into altitude. Area of a right angle triangle is, we have got four options and the right answer is option B, it's half into base into altitude. Area of a rectangle is, we have got four options and the right answer is option A, it's length into breadth. Perimeter of a rectangle is, we have got four options and the right answer is option C, it's 2, which in bracket, length plus breadth. Diagonal of a rectangle is, so we have got four options and the right answer is option D, it's root over length square plus breadth square. Perimeter of a square is, so we have got four options and the right answer is option A, it's 4 into side. Area of a square is, we have got four options and the right answer is option B, it's side square. Diagonal of a square is, we have got four options and the right answer is option C, it's root 2 into sight. Area of a parallelogram is, so we have got four options here and the right answer is option A, base into corresponding height. Perimeter of a parallelogram is, we have got four options and the right answer is option C, 2 into sum of two adjacent sides. Area of a rhombus is, we have got four options here and the right answer is option B, it's uh, half into product of diagonals. Perimeter of a rhombus is, so we have got four options here and the right answer is option C, it's 4 into side. Area of a trapezium is, we have got four options and the right answer is option B, it's half into sum of parallel sides into height. If R is the radius of a circle, then its area is. We have got four options and the right answer is option C, pi R square. If R is the radius of a circle, then its perimeter is. So we have got four options and the right answer is option B, twice pi R. If R is the radius and theta is the angle subtended by the arc at the center of the circle, then area of a sector is. And the answer is option C, theta by 360 into pi r square. 
if r is the radius and theta is the angle subtended by the arc at the center of the circle then length of arc is we have got four option and the right answer is option b theta by 360 into twice pi r if a is the edge of a cube then volume of the cube is we have got four options and the right answer is option a a cube if a is the edge of a cube then total surface area of the cube is we have got four options and the right answer is option a 6a square if a is the edge of a cube then lateral surface area of the cube is we have got four options and the right answer is option c 4a square if a is the edge of a cube then diagonal of the cube is we have got four options and the right answer is option b root 3 into a if l is the length b is the breadth and h is the height of a cuboid then its whole surface area is the answer is option d 2 is l b plus b h plus h l If L be the length, B be the breadth, and H be the height of a cuboid, then its diagonal is uh, the, the answer should be option D, but it is strongly typed as option C. Uh, anyway, the answer is root over L square plus B square plus H square. If L is the length, B is the breadth, and H is the height of a cuboid, then its lateral surface area is. We have got four options, and the right answer is option B, twice H into L plus B. If L is the length, B is the breadth, and H is the height of a cuboid, then each volume is. We have got four options, and the right answer is option A, L into B into H. If R be the radius of base, and H be the height of a right circular cylinder, then its volume is. We have got four options, and the right answer is option B, pi R square H. If R is the radius of base and H be the height of a right circular cylinder, then its curved surface area is. We have got four options, and the right answer is option B, 2 pi R H. If R be the radius of base and H be the height of a right circular cylinder, then its total surface area is. We have got four options, and the right answer is option B, 2 S pi R R plus H. If R is the radius and H is the height of a cone, then its volume is. We have got four options and the right answer is option A, one third of pi R square H. If R is the radius, H is the height and L equals to root over H square plus R square is the slant height of a cone, then its lateral surface area is. Answer is option D, pi R L. That is the right answer. If R is the radius, H is the height and L equals to root over H square plus R square is the slant height of a cone, then its total surface area is. Answer is option C, pi R L plus R. If a cone and a cylinder have same base radius R and same particle height H, then volume of cone is equal to question mark into volume of cylinder. What will be in place of question mark? Answer is option B, 1 by 3. If R is the radius of a sphere, then its volume is. We have got four options, and the right answer is option C, 4 by 3 into pi R cube. If R is the radius of a sphere, then its surface area is. We have got four options here, and the right answer is option C, 4 pi R square. If R is the radius of a hemisphere, then its volume is. We have got four options and the right answer is option C, 2 by 3 pi R cube. If R is the radius of a hemisphere, then its lateral surface area is. We have got four options and the right answer is option B, 2 pi R square. 
if r is the radius of a hemisphere then its total surface area is we have got four options and the right answer is option d 3 pi r square